Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today I have some really cute little spring and summer pieces from Cupshe. In addition to a couple of dresses that I think you could actually get away with wearing as a wedding guest this spring and summer. Now if you have never heard of Cupshe before, they are a very affordable swimwear brand primarily, though they have been branching out into clothing and carrying a lot of styles that in particular are great for vacations, summer, summer, warm weather, though like I said they have been branching out to some other stuff as well but it really is a very vacation focused brand in my opinion. Now Cupshe did send me the pieces that we are going to be looking at today free of charge, however that does not mean that I only need to say nice things. I always try to give my brutally honest opinions about everything. With that in mind though I first tried Cupshe before I ever had a YouTube channel definitely. I bought a couple of swimsuits from them and absolutely loved them and raved about them constantly, so it is an absolute dream to work with them more officially now. Now shipping to Canada from Cupshe, I would say takes usually around a week. I haven't really noticed it taking much longer than that for me personally. I have never made a return to Cupshe. This is something that I get questions about occasionally and I just got one yesterday, so I do want to comment on it. But in general, when I buy from companies that are not based in Canada or that are not like absolutely gigantic brands that have physical storefronts in Canada, such as like an Old Navy, an American Eagle. If I'm not shopping from those brands, I never go into it with the plan of returning stuff. Because I know from years past when I did used to try and return stuff from international brands, it always ends up being super expensive. From what I can see on the Cupshe website, at least for Canadians, you are responsible for paying for return shipping. Cupshe will give you the return label, but it costs like a minimum of $19.99 to ship it back. Most pieces at Cupshe are like $30, so I just can't see it ever being worth that. What I usually do if I'm buying from an international store and I get something that I'm like, man, this just doesn't look good on me, I'm not gonna wear it, I just try to resell it on Poshmark to reclaim a little bit of the money back. You are not going to get the full amount back, but you wouldn't get the full amount back if you had to ship it back anyways. I usually recommend picking stuff that you really think you're gonna like, look at the reviews in advance, make sure that it's really something that you're interested in, and unfortunately if you don't like it, it's not usually worth returning it for an international company. Now with that being said, especially for swimwear, I have loved most things I've tried from Cupshe over the years. For clothes, Clothing, I would say definitely read the reviews. Sometimes I get things that I'm like, mm, I don't love it, but that's why I make these reviews. So you can see what these pieces look like on an actual human being, not a model, get my honest review of how it feels, how it fits, what the fabric is like, do I think it's worth the money, and hopefully that will help you decide if any of these pieces are worth buying for you. Now, like always, I will include the links, what size I got and what colorway I got if there are multiple. For each piece I'm wearing, down in the description box. You can find all of that info down there if you want to check anything out. I was very focused on dresses and rompers today, so that's what we're going to be looking at. But honestly, I say let's just jump right into it because this first dress is freaking adorable. And I have to back up so you get the full effect. But this is a floor length, almost like a fit and flare. I would consider this like a gown. It is obviously a maxi length. On me, it's probably two or three inches too long where it's kind of flared out onto the floor. That's because I'm five foot one. If you are like a standard height, that won't be a problem. I would just need to wear this with heels if I was going to wear it out. And this dress is like this super deep, I would call it somewhere between like a cobalt blue and a purple on the background with these pink flowers in this really beautiful, almost reminds me of like a Regency, like Bridgerton style pattern on the background with these really gorgeous flowers and also what looks like thistles on it. I think this is absolutely stunning, I'm not gonna lie. I tried a dress similar to this last year that is pink and orange that I love and I get so many compliments every time I wear it. This one I think might even be an improved version of that. It really flares out from the waist, which I think looks really, really good. And I would feel comfortable wearing this to a wedding. Like I think that it is floor length and beautiful enough that I would definitely feel 
comfortable and it's only like $30. Definitely a bit of a win-win. Now it does have this knot detailing in the center and this tiny little cutout and this is a real cutout. My skin is just really pale, especially on my stomach right now in the middle of winter in Canada. It's a fairly low V. I have pretty large breasts. I wear a 34 double D. So I think that it looks a little bit more like in your face than if you were a little bit more flat chested, but I really like how it looks. And it does have adjustable straps and a tieable band. So what that is meaning for me is because these straps are adjustable, I'm not wearing a bra under here and I feel like I have really good lift and support without needing a bra at all. I think that it looks really good. It feels good. And because you can adjust that band, you can have it as tight as you want under here, which is really helping to give that support. And then there is this like elasticized part here. I'm not sure why that's elasticized. I guess just to help it fit better. But overall, very stunning, very, very comfortable dress. Definitely something that I will wear over the summer to a nice dinner or if I was going on vacation, this is for sure something I would pack. I feel like it is absolutely gorgeous. And to be clear, if you do not like this very vibrant pattern, they do have other patterns and they also have solid colors. So let's try on the solid color and see how this one looks. So this is the green dress. I do feel like on the hanger, it looks very, very similar and it is a super similar dress, but it feels very different. This one is almost slightly more of like a cottony linen feeling fabric versus the first one definitely feels more like a polyester blend fabric. So this one is a lot softer because it feels like a more natural fiber. It's not quite as wide as a flare as the last one. This one is more falling straight down, but I think that it looks really beautiful how it is so flowy versus the last one. This one is also ever so slightly shorter, which is interesting. And I do personally feel like I'm having way more cleavage with this one. It's a little bit wider and a little lower. But other than that, the actual design of the dress is very, very similar. That knot in the front, a small cutout, the adjustable straps. And then this one does have longer straps for tying a bow at the back, which I think is nice. I think the longer straps look really beautiful and really elegant. And once again, like I would wear this to a wedding gladly. I really like the green color. If you're not a fan of the green, they had like orange, pink, blue, yellow, all kinds of different colors. And once again, I would be happy to wear this on a vacation. I think I'll just wear this in the summer as like a regular everyday dress. It's very beautiful, very nice and soft. And I personally think that it looks really great. So let me know which one you prefer, the solid color or the pattern. I think I lean ever so slightly towards the pattern just because I love something that's loud and in your face. But I do feel like I like the fabric of this one a little bit more. It definitely feels a little bit more airy, a little more comfy versus sometimes I know if you wear too much of that like polyester material in the summer, it makes you feel really hot and sweaty. I don't think this one would do that, but definitely let me know which one's your favorite. Next up, we have our last dress option before we move into a couple of rompers. And this time it is this really, really funky little halter dress. I felt like this pattern and the halter and the little ruffling really reminded me of like Y2K fashion. I swear in the 2000s, I had a dress very similar to this. Now, because it is a true halter, obviously this means that things look really good. You've got a lot of cleavage. Things are looking a little lifted. It also means that after a few hours, it can sometimes hurt your neck or at least it can hurt my neck sometimes. So that's just something to keep in mind before you commit to the halter for an all day event. Now it does have these little ruffles here, which I think are really cute. And the pattern is this really fun tropical leaves pattern with teal, orange, yellow. And once again, I know that this type of pattern will not be everyone's thing, but imagine you wake up and you're on a vacation, you throw on this little dress and you like go down to breakfast. I feel like it's perfect for that. This is like a quintessential vacation dress. The back on this is fairly low and it does have a little bit of shirring so that it stays tight to your back, which is nice. It's not just like falling open. And then it is a true halter tie with nice long straps. You have plenty of extra strap if you need this to be a little bit lower, but you can of course tie it as high as you need to get a little bit of extra support. And definitely let me know how you like this. I've noticed lately a huge number of people that hate halter style tops and dresses. I guess they're just not as trendy now as they used to be, but I do still think that they're really fun, especially for vacation, a halter 
answer will always scream vacation to me. All right, next up we have the first of the rompers and also our first item that's a little bit of a fail for me. So this is a little romper. It's made of this like ultra soft, almost gauze-like material, which I think is nice, perfect for summer when you're gonna be really hot. However, as I'm sure you're noticing, it's just very, very deep V. And that's because there is a button, but it's way up here. So if I do that button up, now it's just open in the middle. Like I think that this button needed to be sewn two inches lower to actually keep this closed at an appropriate place where your bust is. And I might be able to do something with this where I like use fashion tape or something to close it and then seam rip off around the buttons to just get rid of them. But definitely a little bit of an odd design choice for this. Now the shorts are fairly short but still long enough to cover everything and I got this in a size medium. I think that that looks good. I love the little tie on this. I think it's really adorable. But the top portion is just so so awkward. Now it does have cute little flutter sleeves and I think that it's nice other than the fact that it just is definitely not made for larger busts. To be honest, unless you were fully flat chested, I don't know how you would button it way up here. I also think that's just for summertime, I would want it a little bit lower than that regardless, like probably closed down here. So I'll have to see what I can do with this, but in its current format, definitely not a wearable piece for me, unfortunately. And then last but certainly not least, we have a romper that once again, this pattern I know is going to be too bright for many people. Sometimes when I'm on vacation, I want to wear the brightest, loudest patterns that are available to me. I just think that's really cute. Now, ironically, the pattern, like sewing pattern of this romper, I think is almost identical to the last one. It has the same little ruffle sleeves. It has a tie. This one does have ruffly shorts, but Otherwise, they're very, very similar. This one, the button is just sewn significantly lower. So I'm not noticing it popping open and I'm also not noticing it being just like way too high such that it's like hanging open in the middle. This one is sitting where I think the other one should be. Now this little romper also does have shorts, which is nice. However, this one is made of like that pretty thin, pretty cheap feeling polyester material, which I think coupled with the very loud pattern, instead of giving like super fun vacation vibes, I think it is leaning slightly towards clown territory. So I don't think that it's my favorite despite usually loving very loud patterns. I think the background of the entire thing being orange was maybe just a poor choice. And that's once again, coming from somebody who loves the color orange. I think it looks really good on me. This might just be a little bit too much. And because of that material, I don't think that this will last like a super long time. It definitely feels feels a little bit flimsy to me. So for me personally, I would probably stick with those first three dresses. So definitely not my favorite of everything I tried today, but better than that blue one in the sense that it actually does stay closed and look okay on my body and fit. However, I like how the blue one looks worlds more. So overall, I would say I definitely got some good stuff this time. Those first three dresses, I really loved all three of them, especially those first two. I know for a fact that I will wear them because I do have a similar one that I wear all the time. The purple romper is a shame. I might try and see if there's anything I can do about where the button is placed, like just re-sew it on a little bit lower or alternatively see if there's somebody maybe just a little bit more flat chested than me that wants it. This one, I'm very unsure about. So you let me know your thoughts on this one. Is it giving sunny, warm destination vacation or is it giving clown? Let me know. And with that, thank you very much for watching this video today. I hope that you have a fabulous day and that I will see See you next time. Bye!